Uh, more now in our top story. The Democrats race for the White House, and this is a good old good one, folks, heating up with a new and ferocious round of mudslinging. It all began with a column by Robert Novak claiming the Clinton camp had some, quote, scandalous information on Barack Obama. But the Clinton camp decided not to use it. Obama calling Senator Clinton out on this, demanding that she come clean. Novak answering a few questions about it today earlier uh, during Fox and Friends. Listen for they this. They thought this, my source, who was a uh, uh, well-known Democrat, but neutral so far, but, he, but they thought he should know about this information. I then checked with another source who was neutral and said he had heard the same thing from Clinton, Clinton people. Uh, this, is, this is very similar to kind of uh, tricks that uh, uh, Richard Nixon used to pull where he would say, uh, I know uh, some very bad information about the communists supporting George McGovern, but I can't put that out because it wouldn't be right, but uh, I'm, I'm just too good of a guy. Novak referring to this as Nixonian. Did I mention we call this a good old good one, Bob and Tammy? Good morning, Bob Beckel, Democratic morning, strategist, and Tammy Bruce, Fox political analyst and a radio host, and good morning to both of you. Bob, what do you Hi, make everybody. of this? Well, I mean, it's one of the oldest uh, tricks in the playbook. I mean, I, but I it, is, it, sorry, is it a trick? Uh, well, it, 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 probably it is, and, and also the question is whether somebody's freelancing here. But look, if you think about it, Novak had a, had a good point. Well, first of all, why do you give it to Bob Novak? Well, we know Bob Novak covers his sources very well. We learned that in the Valley Flame issue. Uh, secondly, uh, when you do something like this, it does raise the question, well, what is it? I mean, wh what is it you've got? Uh, yeah, aren't you nice not to release it, but what is it that you have? And that gets everybody's attention pointed in that direction just at a time when Obama was beginning to get some more traction in Iowa. Funny that should happen. And at a time when Edwards was beginning to lose some support in, in Iowa, that support going to Barack Obama. So you, you're key. saying this is leaked to take a little bit of sale out of the parachute by, by Barack uh, yeah. Obama. And That's I, your I, position. I must, I must say, now the statute of limitations is up, uh, something that, that I have once or twice employed when I was in the campaign business myself. And so you admit that now. Tammy, what do you make uh, of yeah. this? Uh, well, I think maybe the scandal is that maybe Barack doesn't uh, floss or something, or maybe oversleep sometimes in the morning. This is what I think is classic for what's been going on from the beginning. Uh, Barack Obama is her wingman. Uh, this has been a fake campaign from the beginning. The entire Democratic primaries, everyone's angling for a job with what they presume will be her administration. And how, what could be more perfect than a smear without a smear? And Bob Novak at this point, clearly it's Democratic sources. It's not Republicans who are doing this because why would they be bothering with someone who is obviously not going to be the nominee? Uh, the truth of the matter is uh, the Clinton campaign has still got to make this appear as though Barack Obama is serious and that this is a serious campaign when it isn't. Uh, she has been anointed. Uh, Democrats don't have a choice, uh, as evidenced by the absence of Gore and Kerry in this race. Uh, Novak, for the record, by the way, he, he said this was, it was given to him by a well-known Democrat, Bob, but right. by a Democrat <laughs> with no affiliation to either candidate. Yeah, that's, that's Neutral, I think, you, was the word yeah, he used. That's usually the way you do it. But uh, let me t disagree with Tammy here. I think Barack Obama is in a very good position to beat her in Iowa. Uh, this race is by no means over. And if he does, expectations are very high for her. She cannot afford to lose anything when you're a front runner like this. And right now, despite the fact she did a good job in the last debate, the Iowa caucuses are going to come down to a two-person race, and uh, Barack Obama has Bob, got you really don't there. think he's a serious candidate. They might have well, some, a, a little bit candidate. of a serious of maneuvering course I think in the state. A he you don't really I don't think, think that George Soros is, is thinks that Barack is. Obama is a serious uh, uh, contender for the presidency, and you don't think the Clintons would allow that. Uh, none of the not, nobody else in that dais is a serious candidate. He wants to be Senate leader, and everyone else, with the exception of John Edwards, who finally is doing a good job fighting back at her. Everyone else is angling wait, for a job. Wait, Tim, wait, two wait, things wait, I got to squeeze in, guys. Sorry, sorry, about, sorry to cut you off. I, 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 I mean, can go. where, where I, are you getting guys, this conspiracy theory? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting killed in the, in the control. This whole thing's yeah, a kabuki The Clinton dance. campaign is oh, saying no, this. Yeah. We have no idea what Mr. Novak's item is about and reject it totally. Instead of pointing fingers at us, Senator Obama should get back to the business of issues and focus on what this election really is about. Obama is saying, in the interest of our party and our own reputation, Senator Clinton should either make public any and all information referred to in the item or concede the truth that there is none. Campaign to each other. Bob Beckel, Tammy Bruce, thank you. Very uh, thank right, you. Bye-bye.